Hello friends, this video on data handling part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we might come across situations where we want to represent two sets of data simultaneously. So that is where we make use of double bar graph. So it is basically a bar graph, but instead of one bar, you have double bars. Now let us take this example. So let's take, we will consider the same example throughout to understand the concepts. So let's say uh, the number of students versus their favorite fruits. So this study or this data is being recorded in the year 2014. Now, if you record the same data in 2015, that is in 2015, you do the same analysis of favorite fruits versus number of students. Now, the data will change, right? Because maybe in 2014, 50 of them liked Apple. In 2015, might it, it is also possible that only 30 of them like Apple, right? So, the, the numbers will, would change with time. So, now, if you, if I say that I want to do a comparative analysis between the two years. I want to see how the liking for a particular fruit increased or decreased over the years, over that one year from 2014 to 2015. Now, the moment we talk about comparative analysis of two sets of data, in that case, we will have to represent those two sets of data in the same graph. Only then we can compare, right? Only then it will be an apple to apple comparison. So that is where we make use of double bar graphs and the double bar graph looks somewhat like this. So here also we draw the same x, y axis but here you see instead of just one bar you have two bars. So one bar, all those bars which are represented in green they represent 2014 and all those represented in blue represent 2015. Now, looking at this double bar graph, you can very clearly say that the liking for each of the fruits have decreased from 2014 to 2015. That means with passage of time, the liking for fruits is decreasing or is reducing. So this is an example of a double bar graph. So double bar graph is exactly the same concept as that of a bar graph. It is just that here we represent two sets of data. So here what are those two sets? One set of data is for 2014. The other set of data is for 2015. So in these kind of scenarios we make use of double bar graph. Now what is the importance of double bar graph? So the first importance is that it helps in comparative analysis. You see since we are able to plot the graphs for the two years in the same graph so it helps us to compare that how things changed from 2014 to 15. So this helped us to analyze that the liking for each fruit has decreased in one year and the maximum decrease has happened in case of apple because when you look at the decrease in case of apple this much decrease is there in apple whereas the decrease is lesser in mango the decrease is even very small in case of grapes it is also quite small in case of banana, but in case of apple, the decrease is maximum. That means the liking for apple has reduced the most in one year. So all these kind of interpretations become easier with a double bar graph. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.